Country music star Miranda Lambert heads into the CMA Awards Wednesday night with three nominations. Entertainment guru George Pinocchio talks with the most nominated female artist in CMA history about another very good year in her career. Miranda Lambert will take the stage at the CMA Awards Wednesday night to sing Geraldine, a song off her latest album, Palomino. Lambert's three nominations this year are for Album of the Year, Female Vocalist of the Year, and the Grand Prize, Entertainer of the Year. It's another big year for you, isn't it? It is, and I don't ever take it for granted. I have made this my life's work. I mean, this country music, I've dedicated pretty much my life to it, my adult life. And so I take it very seriously, but I also don't take for granted any moment that I'm celebrated by my peers and, like, still in the game, you know what I mean? It's, it means the world to me. Miranda added to her work this year with a residency at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas, but her heart remains in Nashville with her country music family. So do you have a country music mom or dad or sister or brother? I think George is definitely in my family, George, the George king, Strait. George Strait, the king. We call him the king from Texas, obviously. Um, and I feel like maybe Lainey Wilson, maybe my little my little country music sister. I'm loving what she's doing, and I think she's out there kicking so much butt. And like, I think she's genuine and great. And so I'm really loving watching her journey. Miranda had her own successful journey. Her 61 career CMA nominations with 14 wins means only George Strait and Alan Jackson have been nominated more. She says all those nominations tell her to keep on trucking and to keep growing and learning and honing her craft. I appreciate every moment and I sometimes can't believe that until somebody says it out loud and, and you know, I have all my, my awards in my music space and I sometimes have to just check myself and go, what do I want to do next? George Pinocchio, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.